Hey, Brian from Garage Mall. Today on my tanning bed here, and uh, we got some replacement bulbs, and that wasn't the problem. The problem was, uh, let me turn it on, I can show you. So, as you hear it firing up, I have a couple, like, so that bulb is dim, that bulb is dim, and then up here, I have one, two, three, the fourth one, it's, it's kind of dim. It's not working properly. So, we're gonna actually replace that one first. And it's not the bulb, but it's actually the ballast. Alexa, turn suntan off. Okay. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna kill the power to your suntan bed or booth. It works the same on everything. And on this one, I have a couple screws, one here, one here, and then that's gonna loosen up this so I can get the top off and we'll get to see where the ballast and stuff are underneath here. And that's for the top and then the bottom it's a little more difficult because you have to kind of like take your bed and like flip it towards you uh, without like kind of like putting it on top of this because this gets kind of flimsy as you'll see when I open it and you want to make sure that it's uh, pretty sturdy upright but uh, once we get into that I'll kind of show you that uh, anyhow let me try to uh, get this all taken apart and again like I said there are there's a screw here and there's a screw here we're going to take out on either side and then there's a screw here and then there's a screw here that you want to take out and that's going to get you access to the top here and uh, I'll kind of show you how to do that and I'm going to kind of position my camera here so you can kind of see me working at it uh, every bed's going to be a little bit different to disconnect but everything is going to be pretty much the same on the inside so uh, stay tuned okay so I'm going to try to get the best angles. Usually I wear like kind of like camera over my ear. Uh, this I'm not going to do. I think we can probably get in here and take a pretty good look out of the camera looking over my shoulder. Kind of in a fixed position so you can get a really good view. But anyway, so basically just kind of like a Phillips head, you know, on the end of this. It. That screw comes out pretty easy. Top and bottom. I'm going to kind of see how that kind of fell down. Sometimes you might need a magnet to help pull that screw out. And then that screw comes out like that. And then the one thing I'm doing is I'm just trying to peel this back, this top piece, pull this apart. And then I'm going to put the screw back in here at the bottom, kind of hold it all together while we work on it. You don't have to put it all the way in, but enough that you can peel this top part back. And I'm going to see if I can't get something to kind of hold this up and out of the way. Alright, so I just have a clamp and a balance on here. Hold it up and balanced. So I'm going to swing you around. Okay, so what I'm going to be working on, so you have one, two, three, four. So that fourth bulb is the one that's bad, and we can trace this wire back to the ballast that's right here. And then it has a couple wires down on this end too that we're going to have to disconnect. So like these yellow wires, they're all kind of like twisted in here. So you want to untwist them and then find out that they're all connected to 
these set of bulbs in unison. So again, it's all twisted around. Let me just put this camera down. Basically, you're untwisting the wire and then seeing where it all is. Oh, okay, I got it. So, so you have two wires here and then see how they kind of mount themselves into each section here. So that is the wire leads that we are gonna pull apart. And then we are going to uh, basically reconnect by replacing this. And you can see how that is all one unit. And it's got two screws, one screw there and one screw in the back that's holding it in place. So that'll be pretty easy to uh, get undone. So stay tuned. Okay, so this next part is kind of, kind of, I don't want to say difficult, but it's kind of weird. So you have to remove the bulb underneath. So you're basically taking a bulb and you're twisting it if it's a two pin. If it's a one pin, it has a spring on one side and you just can remove it. So make sure you look at that real quick, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to do. And then underneath- Oh, here, a quick trick that I found out after I did like half the bulbs already. If you take a pick tool and then there's a little bar right here. And if you push that in, it'll make your wire pop right out. So super, super easy instead of having a, and actually make sure that you, the wire seats good. But again, just kind of push that down and then that wire pops right out for you. So quick, easy way of doing this. And then just push down and then that wire comes right out. So. Just make sure they're snug when you mount it back in. And then underneath here, if you grab the fixture end, and it's got two push tabs on either side. And easier said than done, but basically from underneath, you're gonna be pushing in these two tabs right here to release that. And you're trying to get towards this wire. So remember the placement of that. And then basically what you are doing is you're taking a small screwdriver and then you're gonna go onto the, the front side of it. This is basically where your two pin bulb would screw in. And then you wanna take and you wanna pop up these little tabs on either side. You can kind of lift up on this gently and then that's gonna pop these two little tabs up right here. And then you just take a screwdriver and then you just work it down the side. And then this case will pop up. Don't force it. Just be nice and gentle. And I think we just about have it released. Okay, boom. And then that's released. And hopefully that won't slide to the back. And then this wire, it's kind of hard to see here, but there is a little tab right here, a little copper tab. And you basically, you're peeling, pushing that forward and then you're gonna be pulling on this wire at the same time. So basically, put your screwdriver in there, if you can see where I'm at, and then you wanna pull that wire right out. So it's kinda of like a, a quick release. And just to kinda of give you a better view of that, so it's gonna be this little tab right here that you're gonna be moving with your screwdriver. And basically what happens is, when you put that wire back in, what it does is it basically goes in and you push it and it locks it into place. So it's kind of like a quick release. So basically, again, you just put your little screwdriver in there, peel it back, and then that wire slips out. And then, uh, then you can basically just kind of like rinse repeat all, all the way down the line on these four bulbs. And then you can, uh, Put these back in place and then you can just push them back in place as uh, I'll demonstrate. So hang tight.
Okay, so that's the last one, and basically we have the four wires that are separated, so this whole bank is, is done. So we are going to go to the yellow side and basically replicate exactly what we did here. Okay, so on this side, you only have these two yellow wires here so that's pretty easy to uh, disconnect so again since we have the fixtures out we just have to pop this fixture so we have to pop that one out and then just this one all right so just these two and again it's the same type of fixture, so we just put our little screwdriver in here, pop that up. Right, so there we go. And then just twist down each side until that pops open. And same, so we are just pushing down on this little tab here, and then that wire comes right out. So very easy. And then you want to keep in, in touch, so it's only got the one spot to, to undo. And then we come over here. down on the other side and that piece opens up and then same thing just push that little tab in and then that wire pops right out so now we got the yellows out of the way Okay, so you have a white and a black on that end of the ballast, and same thing, the wires are pretty much twisted together, so you just got to trace them down. And find out where they are connected. So, and then you have these, kind of hard to see, but let me show you real quick. Okay, so... I trace this wire back and it's basically the second one that's in there and what you want to do is you kind of want to get your fingernail underneath that and then you want to pull it back and then that wire comes straight out so see how that is basically pulled back and then you trace that wire back and that is your black black wire right there and then your white wire so we trace that follow that down and then that one's going to be the third one in. So let me just try to get my fingernail in there. Okay. And then basically I'm just peeling that back. And then that is our, our white ballast wire. So that is our our black and our white ballast wire disconnected. So let's hook, uh, let's work on getting this ballast out of here. Okay, so there's two screws on either end. So be careful, it's basically a screw and a washer. And we get over on this side. screw out and then this ballast comes completely out All right, and this is our new ballast Just pull the wires 
fucking out of the way. And then you just basically just kind of want to line these bolt holes back up again. So I got one here. Place. We'll go over on this side and just line that one up. Okay. And then we'll work over here on the yellow. So let's get this white wire back in so that goes all the way down to the back. And then we just clip that back in place. Make sure it's snug. We'll take the black wire and do the same thing. We'll go back down here. Make sure that that's snug. Kind of push that stuff out of the way. So these wires, push them out of the way so they're not near the fan. So back down on this end, you're basically looking for the empty hole and just pushing wire in, make sure it's snug. And then we're going to put the plastic cap on, make sure everything snaps in. And just slide that in, snap in place, nice and easy. And then over on this side, same thing, we'll push that wire in, nice and snug. this plastic tab in place, make sure it snaps, and it does, push that in place, and then this wire, again, I'll just wrap it around real quick, squeeze it so it's tight, so it won't go into the fan over on that side, and then again, we are on the all the way to the right. We got our four wires, and then just look. It kind of defaults to looks like this pin on this side, so we're going to push that in on that side. Make sure it locks, and then our plastic piece just kind of nice and easily put together. Okay, so that one. Snaps in place nice and easy. And we have our other two, our three router. And basically it's kind of like rinse and repeat. Just kind of follow the same pattern that all the rest of them are on. We'll snap all these together. Put that back down in place. Alright, let me do the rest of them and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's turn the, uh, the bed on and then we'll take a look underneath. And you can tell all the bolts on the top are all functioning properly. So that's what our problem was. It was a bad ballast. So anyway, uh, we got a couple ones that are out on the bottom. So basically, make note of what position they are in. So when you start fixing that, you know what to balance to replace there. But uh, other than that, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching. And uh, be safe and tan out there.